Alright, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you the right way to paint the needles. Um, basically, there's two types of needles. There's ones where you can see the entire base, so you don't have to worry about masking off this. And there's the other kind that, like, we have a cover right here and it would just show the small sweep of motion. For those ones, you don't need to mask the base off. But one thing you're going to need to do on all of them is before you paint it, you're just going to want to slip something behind it so you don't get any paint on your faces. But that's to, it's down the road a bit. So what you're going to want to do to mask this off is just use scotch masking, some tape that will come off real easy. And basically, just pull a strip. Put it on up to the very edge of the needle. Then so what you want to do is get something hard, flat. Just kind of hold it. Put a little bit of pressure on it so the you know, paint really sneaks on by. All you should do is just push it down to the surface a bit and kind of help hold the needle in place. Just do the other side. Now, I'm not exerting a lot of pressure, just enough to make sure that it's sealed, particularly right by the base there. Now, that's the last thing you want is some linkage. Alright, so we got it masked off now. I'm actually going to tear my paper a little bit, just a little too big. Just sneak this guy behind it. And then we'll put a little tape in a little bit. Can't hurt it. And this is just going to... The safer you are, the better off you're going to be at the end. Alright, so we're ready for paint. So what you want to do, get your needle paint. Make sure it's mixed. I, I can't stress that enough. That's why not mixed a little already, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see. What I want to do is just make sure it's not going to drip anywhere. You're gonna want to basically kind of start at the base and then you'll work your way out. So this one's kind of get all the paint off the needle enough. The name of the game is Small Coats. You don't want to lump it all on at once. There's one coat. dry for a second. Alright, so it's dried a bit now. Um, if your brush has a little bit of gunk on it, before you start, what you'll probably want to do is just pull it out and just clean it with paper towel. What this will actually help you do is get all the excess paint that's on the, the shaft. So, just kind of sponge it up a bit. And this allows you to have a little more control. You saw when I started, it kind of was a bit dirty. Now we got to cleaner brush and you can just dip it in there lightly, a little on the tip. And just uh, open the second coat. And you don't want to focus on any one spot. You just kind of want to do it all. One spot's lighter than the rest, just do it all. When you start focusing on one spot, the paint will kind of build up a bit and you'll get humps and lumps and all sorts of things you don't really want. Alright, so for the third coat, once again, just dip it in your paint lightly. Got my phone out of time. Alright, so we're starting to get a, a nice orange coat on it. There's a couple spots like on the side there that you Attention. All right. Just 
about done with this one. All right, so we'll go for one last coat. you're going to do at this point is just let it dry. Alright, so now we're going to finish up pretty much just by pulling off the tape and reverse of how we started. So just be real gentle, you don't want to put any unneeded pressure on the, on the needle. Pull the tape off. Okay, so that comes out. under just a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell. Basically it's an easy situation to take care of. Find a razor. Alright, so we've got a little paint under the on the base where you painted. So all you'd want to do is take a razor and basically get it and just pull. Scratch up. Probably works best to hold it. Stay. You just can just kind of scratch it like that. And eventually you'll get it all off. Now the cool thing about our paint is the way it reacts with our LED lights. So basically what I have right here is just one of our blue LED lights I have it hooked up. You can't see as much when I hit it with the light on. If I turn the light off, you can see the needle actually glows a very good amount. Makes it really stand out at night. It's really cool. Other than that, I mean you just repeat the process for the rest of the for the rest of the needles you're looking to paint. Um, I wouldn't recommend that you paint just one because it's going to look funny. The other ones aren't going to match it, but if you do all of them and take your time, it should turn out fantastic.